For businesses around the world to ensure their long-term survival, meeting net zero targets has to be a key objective. The Global Carbon Council facilitates the issuance of high-integrity global carbon offsets, which aids organisations to meet their goals. Climate change. We know it's being fueled by the release of greenhouse gases from every sector of the global economy. Yet despite the historic pledges made at the 2015 Paris Agreement, those emissions continue to climb. That's where the Global Carbon Council comes in. It's the first international organisation in the Middle East that helps governments and businesses reduce their carbon footprint by providing them with carbon credits. Dr. Yusuf Alhor is the founding chairman of the Global Carbon Council. He established the organisation in 2016, which has received nearly 1,500 projects from more than 40 countries. Governments on their own cannot meet the objectives of the Paris Agreement to reduce the rise of the temperature to 1.5 degrees centigrade. Therefore, all constituents of the society must be engaged in this effort. We have established the GCC program based on the best international practices so that we ensure the verification of all carbon reduction projects for their issuance of the carbon credits to ensure the highest transparency as well as adhering to the international practices and doing no net harm to the environment or to the society. One of those international projects includes the Nima Water Treatment Plant in Oman. An innovative wetland solution has dramatically lowered the plant's power consumption and therefore their greenhouse gases, while providing an oasis in the middle of the Omani desert for plant and wildlife. The project submitted to the Global Carbon Council has helped lower the electricity consumption at the site by a staggering 98%. Kishore Raj Hansa is the Chief Operating Officer at the GCC. He explained what being a stakeholder means for companies around the world. The project owners uh, get benefited by um, catalyzing the climate uh, finance for their projects. That enables them to implement the projects. It's a good contribution for the feasibility of the project as such. We are a Corsia approved program, which means carbon offsetting and reduction scheme on, for international aviation. The Civil International Aviation Organization has uh, approved us, uh, so it means that our credits are of the highest quality. And we are also approved under ICROA, which is uh, International Carbon Reduction and Offsetting Alliance. In the first program of its kind, Qatar's largest dairy producer, Baladna, approached the Global Carbon Council to raise carbon finance. They registered their project to reduce their carbon footprint by turning waste into compost. With Baladna, the compost project is called the methane abatement. So we reduce the amount of methane that we send to the atmosphere. And through Global Carbon Council, we have measured the impact of this initiative. At the same time, we have verified it through a third party to estimate the receive of the carbon credit to reach to over 28,000 carbon credits per year. Global music sensation Akon has been touring the facility. The singer, songwriter and philanthropist wants to advance sustainability in Senegal. The work that's being done here is amazing and I think it's a model for everyone to kind of look at. The development came through from the blockade and it actually forced them to be self-sustained. Ultimately it became, you could say, an advantage in so many different ways because it allowed them to tackle challenges that they had no choice but to tackle, you know, and when you look at places like Africa, we're literally in that situation, just not officially. Many countries around the world, particularly in this region, don't feature predominantly on the global carbon markets. And that's what the Global Carbon Council is trying to change. Like Baladna, it's a homegrown Qatari initiative, and it's helping businesses and countries enhance and achieve their sustainability targets, making the world a cleaner and greener place to live.